So we'll okay. we'll make a start in another minute or so, Jackson. Yep. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Ready to go. We'll just do. We'll just kick off. Hey, we've got those numbers are starting to study out now. So keep that chat going, guys. If you want to um, pop anything in there as we go along, chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> talk about how Daniel looks today. Good or bad? To be honest. <laughs> Um, Daniel, you can kick off by way of introductions. Well, look, we'll, we'll make a start. Um, I think we're, we're right to go. We've got a great number of people in here. And um, look, I just want to, before we go into the presentation, I would just like to thank you all for joining us today. Um, I absolutely love presenting with Jackson. Um, we've got a little bit of good banter going on here, but... The reason that we like working with Fusine is because culturally people, we're very aligned, we're very similar, we're very committed to our products, we love delivering a great client experience. And when you have that type of alignment with ecosystem partners, it's very easy to go out and put together strong value propositions, which we know makes a difference to our clients' lives. So I'm Daniel, I've been at BGL for a little while, um, and um, I just love what I do, I love the business that I'm in, but more important, I just love being involved in stuff that makes a difference to our clients' lives, which in turn makes a difference to the people that you service and the clients that you service each and every day. So what we're going to be going through today, I can assure you is just an amazing integration that makes a difference and it works and it delivers outstanding outcomes. And I'll also talk about my experience using FuSign too, because my account uses FuSign. Um, and I, I simply just love it. And um Jackson, I'm going to hand it over to you. You can yeah. do your own little intro because thank you. I, I'd have too few words to intro you with. <laughs> no, that's right. So yeah, my name is Jackson Brigg. I'm the um, head of sales with the team at Fuse. <clears throat> um, very similar with us, uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. But the, definitely the the value propositions across both of our businesses is, is huge, um, and it's really boils down to the fact that we just really like working together as people. Our teams get along famously well. Um, we look at the client journey the same way. Um, we have the same expectations and level of service and everything else. So um, it's actually, Daniel, our, our one year today in terms of doing this webinar. And Happy anniversary. Was, yes, thank you very much. It's going to bring the virtual <laughs> tag, but um, expect one at the door. And, and look, it, it was actually probably one of my favorite webinars that we did last year, um, just because of the, the amount of feedback that we got um, from the attendees, you know, I tried to call as many as I could after the session to, yeah. to check in and see how they found it and make sure there was value in this what and there was. Um, and that's why we wanted to do this again this year. Obviously, we've grown a lot, both sides of, of us and BGL in terms of bringing on new firms and, and firms that are leveraging our, our platform. So what we want to do is make sure that, A, if you are new to BGL or QSign, you are using this integration, you're leveraging it. And if you're not, show you the amount of power that we have when our two platforms work and sync together. Um, so yeah, look, it's, um, it's a good one. I'm looking forward, I've been looking forward to this for the last few weeks. So I'm keen to sort of jump in and in the chat as well, feel free to pop in. If you are a few client, mm -hmm. you're a BGL client, you're both. Um, that's always, always really helpful to kind of navigate this, but really today it's about showing you and, and, and walking you through that integration that we offer and also a little bit more around Fuse, uh, sign as well. Um, just to, I guess, make sure that, um, we can see where the value is outside of using it through certain integrations. We can really be using it across the board with the business as well. Um, so we wanted to touch on that a little bit as we as we sort of go through. So that's what we're going to cover today. Yeah. And look, um, uh, yeah. just one of the things that I'd just like to maybe just share a little bit of a story before we go into anything. Um, I met Melissa some 18 months ago, probably a little bit longer, and um, it, she was actually highly recommended to me, her and the team at FuSign. And um, we're talking about the whole the whole um, process of digital signing and how to position the product and the price to a point where it becomes a no brainer for our clients. And what we basically agreed to was to position it and price it where it, um, delivering the documents, getting them signed through the BGL documents would not cost any more than pretty much a stamp, right? Yeah. And so, given the the technology that we have and the technology FuSign have. We've been able to come up with a model which pretty much replicates that. And um, what we've what we've been able to build is something that provides a seamless um, engagement and a seamless output when it comes to the whole digital signing process, which what I love about this is that from the most advanced user to the most simple user, and even those that are against technology, once they've jumped on the process, they understand it, they like it, and then it doesn't become something that in future is a daunting process, it's just something that they, you know, that they that they that they carry out with confidence, knowing 
that you know the whole process works and it works well and um when you what you're going to get to see is that as we dig deep into this a little bit deeper is just not only how seamless it is but how efficient it is and how um incredibly good it is also from your record keeping perspective and that whole other element which is important to what you do on a daily basis so um yeah we just like i said We've built the products, we've built the integration, and a lot of it's built around what you say too. And one of the things that I can say to you is that in our Slack channel, which is our internal communication channel, we actually have the team from FuSign as one of our participants, which basically means any feedback that comes to them instantly comes back to us. And any feedback that comes to us goes to them. And then we collaborate together to be able to provide ultimate solutions and from where the product was last year to where it is this year, it's mm-hmm. coming leaps and bounds. And it will continue to go in leaps and bounds because we listen to our clients. Yeah. And that's what yeah. we're about. 100%. And that's really what I'm going to like touch on as well uh, when we talk about uh, this sort of partnership and, and what we do. It's really that that piece of we're very much growing our platform based on the feedback that we're getting now from our clients who are all in the same industry. They all have the same pain points, the same needs, the same desires, the same idea of where they're looking to go with the platform so um yeah it, it, that's it's exactly sort of how we look to develop the, the integration as well on our side and that's why we have that that slack channel and, and all the other forms of communication that we have between our two businesses um so very very quick housekeeping as well uh, we all know how soon works by now but the chat is there the q a is there daniel and i will get through some as we go we have some helpers in the background last time it absolutely blew up um, and we couldn't keep up, which is a good problem to have. So yeah, if you do have anything, pop it in there and we will navigate those as we go. But we have some dedicated time at the end um, that we'll chat about anything that pops through. So hang about if we don't answer it straight away. Yep. So Daniel, as a first point, because I know a lot of the clients here are BGL clients, Kaz, Simple Fund, Simple Invest with yourselves. Um, so just wanted to give a really quick overview of where we come from. And it really leans into you know the introduction that you had to Melissa um, as well, and probably a lot of those value points that you found in not only Fuseworks as a business, but in you know Melissa and Scott as people as well. So um, Fuseworks as a business is actually derived from our accounting firm, which is based here in Brisbane. So we have a lot of insight into the industry from that sense, because our firm in that side of the world uh, very much feels and, and sees a lot of the pain points that the rest of the industry does as well. Um, and we were kind of tired of waiting around for solutions that were more specifically built for our industry. And so we decided to start building them ourselves. Um, and FuSign was one of them that came in right kind of at the start of COVID, uh, which is a probably ideal time considering everyone had to ship so digitally. But um, that's why we really developed FuSign and it came out at a really good time. Um, and that was really because we just couldn't find a, a platform that we thought was uh, specific enough in terms of the integrations they offered, the price point that they offered, the way that they looked to develop, where their support was based and all these little things that we really required. And as the accounting space is such a fast moving industry, we found that if we didn't have things that were quite bespoke to our space, then they didn't typically have as good a hold on the rest. And Daniel, I know it's a big one for you as well because you have so many providers that approach you in all walks of life to work with BGL. Um, having something that is a little bit more, you know, focused on working and building our ecosystem that, you know, us as BGL as well as FYI and, and others have been working so hard to build over the years. Like that's a that's a big point um, for us as well as working with people that are focused on the, on our ecosystem. Yes, yeah, so um, as I'm sure what, you do. Yeah, look, what we love doing, and this is like I said, what we what why we teamed up too is that, you know, with an accounting firm, there's many components to it. And what we're trying to do is, you know, create sort of an ecosystem or a tech stack which supports what you need to do, but more importantly, supports what your clients need from you, right? And that's really important. And one of the things that is great about the FuSign model is that it's actually birthed from a group of accountants. So they actually understand the problem that they're solving. And that makes a big difference because you'll see that in the workflows, you'll see that in the delivery, you'll see that in the experience, it's what you as an accountant would want, not only for yourself, but for the clients that you work for on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And at a high level, when we sort of look at that and we, I guess we break down into the, the why like you sign and what does that make, make uh, what makes it specific to our space is we kind of break it down into two segments. So one of those is the business's needs and then the client's needs. So our clients and then theirs. Um, and from a business, it's a really fine balance, right? And I know BGL have this as well. Um, it, it's, a, it's a case of, creating a really simplistic, easy to navigate platform while making sure it's really, really feature rich. 
keeping in mind that we have a really strong mix of clients that come from not using any digital signing in their practice um, at all to, you know, uh, so the simplicity of being able to navigate the platform is key. So then the other side where clients have been using and they might be early adopters of, um, you know, digital signing. And so they're coming from existing platforms. So ensuring that where they're then getting all the features and more uh, that they need to be able to progress is, is pretty crucial for us. And it's a fine balance, right? Like I know, Daniel, you, you find that all the time. Is it worth developing? Are enough clients going to get value from this enhancement? Do we do it? Do we not? So right. when we look at that, it's things like visibility. So making sure that the team and the business can have firm wide access across everything that they've got out for signing. So whether they are sending things via integration, like from BGL, sending things directly from USign or using the integration via FYI, wherever that's coming from, everything is sitting within USign. So the business has a good idea of what we've got out for signing. Um, and of course, we can get quite granular with that in terms of those larger businesses that need that segmentation. But as a whole, we want to make sure that we have visibility. And then there are things like security. So making sure that we've got MFA options for team members internally, and we don't charge based on users as well, which is another big point. So we want to make sure that everyone has access to their own account and no one's sharing logins across the business. So from an audit perspective, as well as just from general security um, working in the cloud, we want to make sure that everyone has their own unique logins. Um, and then the big one as well, I could kind of spend all day talking through these, but having an integrated solution is another big point for us. So obviously that's what we're talking about today, but um, making sure that we're working with other partners in the industry to create that ecosystem mm -hmm. and to have something like view sign leverage across the business is, is massive. Um, so they're, they're the sort of big points when it comes to the business. And then when it looks at the, uh, looking from the client's perspective as well, I think personally, and Daniel, I know you're big on this as well, it's probably even more important um, and that's because I think when it comes to software being used internally, there's a lot that we can do having the teams buy in and saying, hey, look, it's not the most simplistic piece of software that we're looking at, but there's going to be a lot of training. You're going to get this, you're going to get that. We don't have that luxury when it gets to the client side. We don't want to spend all of that time training them on a complex piece of software um, because they're going to get frustrated. And as well, if we're sending things like engagements out, that's actually our first impression to the client. So if that's not a simple process, we've lost them straight away. Um, and I've had that in the past, actually. So um, it's about ease of access, making sure it's mobile friendly, simple interface, no complicated logins. So there's no user accounts, no passwords, nothing like that for the end signer. We keep that as transactional as possible because we know that that gets the best results ultimately. Yep. Cool. Um, and then when we look at, uh, I guess, the, the integration and, and the way that we kind of you know, work through that. It's about just providing the win-win-win across the board. So having the internal efficiencies, um, using integrations like we have with BGL, which we're excited to show you through, um, having the internal efficiencies for things filing back and being notified directly in the platform with CAS as well, in particular, to be able to launch directly from the platform. Um, and then making sure that, you know, the, the clients are getting a nice seamless experience as well. So that's really the, the sort of focus. And I know we've spoken about it a little bit, Daniel, but why is a, at a, a more of a high level for digital signing? Why is the digital signing aspect such an important piece with BGL or for, for the use of, of CAS in particular? Well, I mean, there, there's a number of things. So, I mean, I, one, if we talk through the old process of doing things, we know that when it came to corporate compliance and even with tax returns um, for Simple Fund 360 and then Simple Invest 360, the trust tax return, the company tax return that we do generate, what would happen is that the client would often have <clears throat> multiple workflows to manage <clears throat> the generation and the delivery of the documents. So what would happen is that they'd have, say, and I'll talk about CAS 360, they'd get the annual company statement, for example, or they'd, yeah, and then they'd go off various lists from ASICs or they'd have an Excel spreadsheet to work out when they've received it, when it was sent to a client. Some people would then use a diary management system to work out when to follow up their clients to get reminders or they'd be downloading an ASIC data report to see if their clients were paid because they couldn't know otherwise whether or not they were paying. So what we did is that we took these very traditional processes because then what would happen then is that you print off the statement, you'd put it in an envelope, send it to your client and in a sense, hope that they'd get it back to you on time, especially the resolution. Yeah. So what we did is that by building the digital signing into it and the delivery method that we've built in CAS 360 and or Simple Fund 360 and Simple Invest 360, you simply generate the documents, mark them for digital signing. It sends the document directly to the client. And if there's multiple people that need to sign that documentation, it will basically send a, the, an invite for all of them to be able to, to sign the documentation individually. Once it's then been signed, 
it then comes back to you as a signed document that is then ready for you to lodge. And the beauty about that too is that you can see exactly when you sent it, you can see exactly who signed it, when they've signed it, and you've got a full audit trail, not only of the whole process and the document and the signing of the document, but then you've also got the whole the whole process of when a document was lodged, et cetera, with the, the relevant documentation to make sure that you're always compliant. So what it's basically done is just reduce something that would take multiple systems to manage and, and work through. We've brought it really into one process, which is all managed now through a few buttons. Yeah. And I think it's as well like that time efficiency, because I know, you know, with the corporate compliance side as well, if there are you know, things that haven't come back in time, there are late fees associated with that. So relying on clients to get those documents, print them, sign them, scan them, return them. It's just another piece that we don't have to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Daniel. I'm doing further, well, Jason. Should we, should we jump in and, and give a rundown of uh, how it all looks and feels? Now, I'm going to be navigating the slides. So you just, uh, I'm going to see if I can read your mind a little bit. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll navigate through and, and see how we go. Perfect. Um, look, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a little bit of a demo of CAS360. Now, I'm not going to actually go into a, a full software demo. I'm just going to explain how the whole thing works, right? And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience. So, for example, yesterday I um, I was given my it was my my company's annual review, and I just um, it was due yesterday, and I received all the documentation, and everything for signing then. And what I'll do is I'm actually just going to go through the process for setting all that up, and then I'll talk about my experience and why I love the experience, right? And while I'm doing this, Jackson will go through some of the questions that we've yes. got there. Um, that would be great. <clears throat> So yeah, we got things... sorry, I was gonna say Dan, we got some good ones, but I think they're they're actually really good to leave just till after this. So I'll um, uh, Julie Colin in particular, I'll I'll pop back to that. Yeah. Perfect. So what it, so one of the things that's really important when it comes to setting up something like a digital signing is just for it to be a really easy process. So what we've done is that within the products, this is both in CAS 360, Simple Fund 360, Simple Invest 360, you've got the ability to go into the, the little dots, which then allows you to go through. The, the BGL marketplace within you can select who you want to um, connect up with. And so effectively to turn on the few sign um, digital signing, it's just a matter of toggling it on. And essentially that few sign process is then set up for you. So one of the key things to look for is it needs to be easy to set up and easy to run with. So as we go to the next slide, um, one of the things that that you will do with the, the digital signing, and it's probably the most common use, is obviously around things like the Form 484, the resolution for the annual company statement. So essentially, once the integration has been flagged on, you'll see that when you go to produce a an officer's change or a member's change, you'll come up with a you know the, the form that's been generated to reflect the changes, and you can see there that what's been highlighted and what the arrow is pointing to is this little pen which basically indicates that it's ready for digital signing. So on the bottom, you click on the digital signing, electronic signing options, which then allows you to go through the process of preparing that document for digital signing from a delivery perspective. So once I click on electronic signing options, you'll see here that you select your signing provider, you then select the form and you can see here that it, it's also got the name of the person that is going to receive the opportunity or the invite to sign the document. So in this case here, you can see I've got Mark Thompson. Um, once I save this and I deliver the document, Mark Thompson will then receive an email um, and to be able to then go through the process to digitally sign the document. So all I need to do is select the signing person. Once I've done that, I then click on send as, and the system will automatically then take you to a template, which basically says, here is the form that is that needs to be that needs to be signed. Here's the details, here's all the supporting documentation. So here's a resolution. It gives you the ability in CAS 360 to also customize um, these letters and to customize these exchanges that you have with clients. So this is a standard template that we have that you can modify. If you're happy with the template, um, you simply click on send, and this is in effect what the client will receive on their end in their email. So when they go into their email, they will then see this particular email that's come through with the option to digitally sign the document. So all I need to do is digitally sign. I've got the option to then go. So go back one, Jackson. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is what happens when the document comes to you as the client. 
uh, what comes to your client. So you can see here that I've got the form for 84, which has got the exact same template that um, you had initially. And that was the one that you authorized to go through to the client. The client will then get an email saying, here's your documents for Mac Thompson Company, PTY LTD. And on the bottom there, there's a little option there called review documents. Now, once they go through and click on review documents, you're then prompted to, to go to the, um, the FuSign digital signing platform. And the beauty about what we've built is that with the forms and the documents, we've pretty much set them all up so that the, the system knows exactly where the, the, the signing needs to take place. So all the documents have been marked up. You don't have to, you know, in a sense, work out where on the form the signing is needed. You don't have to do any, you know, create any fields or anything for that. All mm -hmm. our documents are automatically marked up. Yeah, so that's once... my favorite thing about this integration. It's so smart. And mm -hmm. I think people underestimate like how clever that actually is because what BGL have done, and I'm stealing the show from you, Daniel, is, and Warren and the team have done is because they already know who is relevant to each spot. They've gone through that extra mile instead of saying, yes, you can use digital signing, go and tag it up yourself and send it out. They've gone to that extra mile to go through and say, well, we already have the data that we need to suggest where people need to sign on the document. So let's just go through and automate that whole process as well. So it reduces any human error through that process and also just means the team are just shooting that out through VGL in minutes, if that, yeah. um, for, for the client without any mistakes lingering or possible mistakes lingering. Correct. So on the form 484, for example, we know exactly where that field, you know, which which field needs to be signed. We then also know for the, the supporting documentation, whether it be the resolution or the minute where it needs to be signed. And essentially the client will then go through the process of signing in the fields that are required to be signed to be able to satisfy the requirements um, from an ASIC perspective. So you can see here that when they proceed to sign, the fields are already marked up and it says sign here. So all the client needs to do is click on sign here. And then once they've clicked on sign here, I'll get you to click on the next one. Essentially, they can either type in um, their signature, they can write in their signature. So they've got multiple options as to what they can do. Once I click on sign, that document then will have been signed for that particular change. Okay. Yep. So, and this is a really big, you know, a really strong point because I even know going back to the manual process, Jackson, and you're probably too young for this, right? But they used to stick little stickers on there with arrows where the clients had to sign, right? Yeah. And you see a document with 20 or 30 little stickers on it, sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. Yep. And how often do you end up in the situation where the clients miss the place to sign, right? Well, I, I am that victim. So when I, I joined um, my accounting firm a, 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 quite a few years ago, um, what happened was I had everything sent out in the mail uh, with that and my business partner and I signed everything off and we shot it all back, but then realized that we had actually missed a spot when it came back. So that's what I was saying earlier about my first sort of experience. That initial one was a bit tough because not only was I trying to get the business off the ground, I was also trying to get all this other stuff done. And so they ended up having to resend the whole thing. They sent it via an email. I don't have a printer at home. I haven't since I was in high school. Um, so I then had to go to office works to print the documents, to sign them, to go to my partner's yep. house for them to sign them and then ship them back. And it just wasn't a great initial experience, to be perfectly honest with you. It was frustrating because you've got all these other things that you're looking at. So having that on your head as well is just another thing to go and do. So, yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> yeah. So and like and just explaining my experience. Yes. So like it was I received my annual review yesterday and um, literally the annual review came through. I know it came through to the accountant on Monday. Yesterday I had the annual review. Um, in my email here, sign here, get ready and, and then pay your ASIC fee, right? Literally within a few moments, I have it delivered and within a few moments, I can get the whole thing signed. And then the notification that it, you know, it's been completed goes back to the accountant once all parties have signed. So in my case, yeah. it's my wife and I that need to sign. I sign, she signs once it's done, then the account's notified and you know that you got um, the, the document, you know, the requirements fulfilled. But what I love about CAS 360 and our products too is if we go to the next slide, Jackson, the, the beauty about what we do is that we not only make it easy for, the, for the, the documents to be marked up and the whole process to be really seamless. One of the things that I love that we do is that we then push back to you when a client has signed the document. So in the notifications area, you can see here that we've got a company time for lunch, PTY, LTD. The document has already been signed. 
And then you can see that within this screen, you've got a couple of options. You can go through and view the documents if you want. If it's a document like a Form 484 that needs to be lodged, you can then proceed to lodge the document. So this is literally all done within really cleverly designed workflows and cleverly designed integrations, right? So on this screen here, I can now know with confidence I can go through and lodge this document and it will automatically lodge it to ASIC for me. Let's go a step further. We not only um, allow you to, you know, to, to manage that process through there, but we make sure that we keep copies of everything. We make sure we have an audit trail so you can see when clients have opened things up, when they've signed things. If a client, for example, with a Form 484, with the workflows around CAS 360, if I have a client that, um, for example, I produced the Form 484 21 days ago, and the, the, the lodgement time is fast approaching, which I've got seven more days, in the CAS 360 workflow, the, one of the alerts will tell you that there is a document that is needed to be lodged within seven days. That by clicking on that little option there, it will then allow you to then do some or to, to carry out some actions around that document, which would be send a reminder to the client. So what that will then do is that will automatically send a reminder to the client to sign the document. If you don't want to do it through there, you can also do it through our, our document screen, which you can see all the forms, everything that's been changed. And you can see here that we've got very clever workflow, which tells you when it's been sent to a client. And then you've also got the option to send the document reminders directly within the software. And then obviously, once it's come back, you're notified that it's come back and it's ready to lodge. So the days of you know clients coming back saying that it wasn't sent to me or I didn't receive it or something happened to the postman or whatever it may be or the post person whatever 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 may may have been the case with a registered post whatever I'm sure that you've all encountered issues of clients saying haven't received things. We just eliminate it altogether. Eliminates that. Yeah. Right. And it's just a beautiful process which I can tell you now will delight you but also delight your clients. Um, the the last thing that I suppose would like to show you is just when it comes to the documents, you can very we we give you access to all the documents. Obviously, you can see you've got things like deleting documents, you've got the ability to download documents. And for the clients who don't want to digitally sign, just know that in CAS 360, you've still got the option for clients to download the documents and they can sign it with a wedding signature and send it back to you. So it's not it's this way or no way, we still give you the flexibility to manage the client experience or more importantly, put in the client's hands to manage the experience. Now, the last quick slide that I'm going to take you through is just, um, I love this slide because what it does is it captures who we are and what we do. Um, and effectively, these are the three mascots for, for the BGR products. There's Vesta, there is, um, <clears throat> there's Smarty, and there's also Cassie. And you see Fusite in the middle. And that experience that I briefly went through with you for CAS 360 is available to you across all BGR products. Okay. So it's um it's a very easy to use, seamless process, which I can, you know, I, I can assure you you'll be delighted in once you implement it. And it will save you a lot of time, money, and effort. Yeah, yeah. And for those that don't, um, I mentioned this very briefly at the start, but quite a few have joined since then. Um we don't require you to have a valid subscription to test this out. We don't want any client coming on board with sign until they try and test it for themselves. So if you are jumping in a trial, you can plug it into any of the three BGL platforms to test it out. Um, our teams are both here to help with that, but we also provide quite a lot of uh, knowledge-based learning um, for you to kind of navigate through. But as you've just seen, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. You kind of plug it in, you find out where you need to click to, which is just a little bit different to sending via email and you're pretty well good to go and, and you can get it out the door and, and kind of really feel that experience. So um, yeah, def definitely um, want to, to test out if you haven't already. I was just going to say, well, that well, that's us. I just wanted to thank you. I just wanted to thank you for um, the ongoing support of working with our teams, the amount. And it, it's actually funny just sitting here now and talking through this. Um, how much has developed over the last 12 months? Because I remember yep. we were getting some of these questions. We're like, yes, we're working on this, we're working on that. It's not here yet, but we're working on it. And to sit here today and now being like, yep, we do that, we do that, we do that, we do that is is awesome. So uh, just a massive thank you for putting your trust in us as a, as a business and as a team to to work with you alongside this because the feedback that we're getting and um, Reg Tech is coming up, my, my favorite road show of the year because the amount of clients that come and just talk about how much they love working with the both of us is it makes our jobs a million times better. So yeah, just a big thank you.
And thank you too. Um, you know how much I enjoy working with you alongside your team. And, um, you know, I, I simply believe in what you do and the value that you bring. And um, as I said from the beginning, ecosystem partners that align and many, many, many of us do. And that's one of the things that we really pride ourselves in um, makes a big difference to your life and that of your clients. So thank you for everything you bring to our community, Jackson and team. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we'll be here again next year, my friend, I'm sure. So I'll hopefully, I'll hopefully we're friends by then. So. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> depends, uh, depends how we both age over the next 12 months, I think. It's going to pretty much do it. <laughs> Yeah, but thank you uh, yeah no thank you daniel appreciate it thank you everyone for joining us we will see you on the next one and hope to see your reg tech coming up very soon as well thank you so much